Yeah, you do. You're welcome back <laughs> to the show. And yes, uh, Sandra, Benny, and I are here. We should call this on the couch with mm. Kwao Kesi. Oh, oh yeah. Kwao yes. <laughs> <laughs> Kesi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah. This morning, I mean, we decided to drop our social block to talk to you, um, to bring in a bit of a social issue that is prison life. Yeah. Uh, this week, uh, the, the, the discussion has been dominated a lot by decongestion at the prisons yeah. and also prisoners asking for more money. They want their feeding fee increased from one city 80 pesos to something more significant and meaningful. Now you've been there, yeah. seen it, done yeah. it. Yeah. I engage with them. One a constituency. I hear you were rapping for them. Say, you were afraid you'd be bullied, so you decided that you use music to... To get special no, no, no. favors. <laughs> 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 was How was it like for you? Um, it, was, it, was, it was an experience. Uh, I call it the mil million dollar experience, you know. So it was it. Uh, that was it. Yeah, I mean, when the first day you got there, when the gates opened. When the gates closed. Closed behind, behind you. And you know that there's no going you, back. Exactly. What, what was going through your head? Um, they, they have two gates. You know, the first one from the outside. Then you get inside, like the reception. Then from there, they, they check you out, they set you and all that. Then you go another one, you bow. The bow means um, you have to, you know, humble yourself, mm -hmm. you know, bow to whatever they tell you to do. So you bow and enter the second gate. Then I heard a lot of noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at that time it was your, your feeling at that time I was feeling, yeah, yeah, fans, you know, feeling still feel <laughs> <yourself. laughs> And they had it I, sunk in hundreds yet. of hundreds of inmates. They heard it in the news, mm -hmm. and they knew I was coming. So they were, were all waiting to see the man. Then you know we were around, and then five o'clock evening came, and we had to go inside the cell. That's when I realized I'm in a different, different world. Place. Yeah. Oh. And they lock you five o'clock. Now I, I heard that in in all the cells there's like a, a cell boss. Yeah. Uh, cell, cell leader. Cell leader. We have cell leader. We have cell police. We have cell commando. You wow. know, cell father, and it goes on seven seven and seven 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 seven. What's that? He's the person who who sees to it that you we will drink water. He serves the water. Ah. Yeah. So he has you know in the in the evening he takes a cup. He fed the water for you. To in, drink. Uh, yeah. And not everybody gets water to drink. So, you know, you have to respect the 77 to mm. get water. Ah. And wow. he, he sees to it that you can bath. So he gives you water to bath. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. So he's, he's got his control over Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like every, uh, um, every position is very much respected. Because if you lose that water... Imagine what will happen to you. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the person who takes care of the um, the, the toilet. Mm -hmm. You know, and they all deserve their respect because they can screw you if right. you disrespect them. Okay, now Carl, I know that you said it was an experience. I'm sure that you must have learned something. You've taken certain things away with you. But a lot of times we hear when people go to prison, they come out and then they are reformed. They, they become pastors or preachers and things like that. Have you had any sort of change like that, or has it changed you in any way? Is there any link between that experience and your spirituality now? Has anything changed in that regard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I've, I've, I've drawn closer to God, you know, of course. Um, not the situation I was in. When I got there, I saw people who are in much worse, worse situations. And I was like, thank God, you know, for my situation. Because these people are in, 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 they are hopeless, you know. They don't know when they are coming back. Nobody is there for them. They don't, they don't go to court. And that is their home. So, you know, I felt God is doing great things for people. If these people are here and they can survive. Some of them have been in remand for like five years, you know, four years, six years. Even somebody is there for nine years, and these people are still surviving. Then it's God, mm. you know. So, in a way, I've I've, I've come to see God and realize um, the good that God. You've been humbled, haven't you? Um, a, a bit, and you, know, you have to be humble. You know, the world is a place that 
that is governed by people you know god is the almighty of everything so you have to be humble you can't raise your shoulders if you raise your shoulders you push you down yeah so, that, that's very yeah. true mm-hmm. uh quite what, what was one of the most shocking things you saw while you were in there um you know the the following day when we had to go you know when they were they opened you like at six o'clock in the morning they will open the, the, the cells the and when they opened the cells you know i was i was i had a privilege of you know for for respect people respected me they gave me a bed to sleep on um the following morning they they fetched me water a full bucket water and um i came out to bath and when they opened six o'clock the leaders come out first and the next 10 minutes the others come out and when the others were coming it's like when, when they open the animals like you know the way they all rush they out. all rush out wow and what lot, are they rushing out for for food or to take a bath somehow you can't not everybody gets water to bath so you rush out to maybe hustle. you can get hustle for one cup of water and pour it over you one cup yeah people bath one cup of water Okay, now let's look at uh, the logistics and the facilities and accommodation generally at the, at the prisons. L- let's start with accommodation. Uh, we are told that prisoners take turns to sleep. Did you experience this? Did you see this? Yeah, really? yeah I saw this. Um, we were 74 in the room. How, How big, big is, is the room? <laughs> the, um, do you know a normal single room yes. that you can rent in Accra? Yeah. That's how it is. And we have 74. Our studio is bigger. 70 yeah, yeah. people lying down. 74, 70, people. 74 people. Lying, sometimes all lying. 73, sometimes it drops to 70, but it's around that figure. And they don't, you know, some of them lie, but you lie on your half like that. Yeah. Yeah. On your side. To make space your for side. The and you can't turn over because you people are so tight. So one position the entire night. It's like yeah. sardines. Really? Yeah, like sardines. But they, they, they call it the, the yam, you have the yam sleep. At least yeah, there are mattresses on no, the floor. No, there are no mattresses. So you're sleeping on bare. Yeah, so sometimes you get, you know, a cloth, you know, on the floor, and you people are sleeping on it. But so you know, like the seniors get mattresses, a few mattresses that they put on the ground, and they sleep on it. Then we have the monkey sleep. That one you don't sleep. You sit and hold your leg to your chest Mm. all night. And And people have been doing this in the prison for years. Years. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Monkey sleep. Oh my uh, god. Imagine seventy four people, you know, they they push you in the middle of the next person's, you know. They yeah. Legs. Yeah, legs. Yeah. So there's no way to even make a move. You are just dead stiff all night. But I'm sure you, you appreciated the freedom outside. It's it's very expensive. Freedom is the most expensive thing in the world. And if you have it you have to hold it dear. Yeah. I like that one. Okay. I like that. Okay, so let's talk about decongesting the, the prisons. Um, how are you adding your voice to what you've been there? So what would you say to the Interior Ministry, for instance, that is uh, spearheading this decongestion process? Um, you know, I, 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 I would say they should, they should do whatever they can. They should do their best to, um, you know, increase infrastructure for the prisons. You know, the, the Kumasi prison for... Um, for was built for 400 to 600 the, the maximum you can take um they told me is 600 but they have 2100 and something when i was living wow you know and recently when the incidents happened yeah they were 2100 and something inmates so imagine a place built for 600 people maximum and now it has 2000 and over you know, you can't even get a place to stand. Mm. It's really choked. And if the interior minister, you know, having seen all what what happened last week and all that, I think they have to step in and increase infrastructure and, you know, get the people to feel a bit comfortable in there. Because prison is like a hospital. You know, anybody can end up there. Nobody knows. So um, we have ministers who have been there. They told me even President Kufo once was there a long time ago. Long, yes. Ibrahim Adams yeah. was mm-hmm. there. And we know of 
other ministers and you know big big men in society who have who have gone through Listed, that yeah. so if it's for all of us then we have to make it a place that we can feel good when we are there right speaking of that now i know that prison is meant to correct or reform you now your case is different because you were on remand you, you your case is still in court yeah. so you were just on remand but do you think that you have been reformed in any way um, I, you know, I, I'm asking this because y you haven't been sentenced, so yeah. I mean, we can't talk about your guilt or lack thereof, but you were there, yeah, for something. Have you been reformed in any way with respect to that? Yeah, to, to me, my re reformation is that you know, I will do whatever possible not to end, end up, up there, there. there again, yeah. but from what I saw, I don't think it's a correctional facility, mm. it's you know? more of a punishment, it's a punishment, it's like a dungeon. Right. So know. there's no there's no hope of rehabilitation. Just, no, no. Just suffering, really. I think people even go there and get worsened, you yeah. know. Or they come out and re-offend. Come out and re -offend. And I heard some of them talking like that, you know, who wants to come out and take revenge. Mm. Yeah, because they, in society. they are in a hardship and they feel like, you know, the punishment on them is too much. And these are people who are remanded. Yes, mm. I mean, that one is a very sad one. Yeah. I mean, you have people on remand for 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody takes Nobody, them to court. Exactly. And they are just there. Sometimes the dockets are even missing. Yeah. You know, the people that the case. case. The prosecutors are even retired or something. They're yeah. even no longer yeah. there. So on uh, Valentine's Day, you're hoping to give back? Yeah. Are you to Kumase? Yeah, to Kumase Central Prison. What exactly, what exactly are, are you, you doing? doing? Um, you know, I saw a lot of things that these people are lacking, you know, and I felt like I have to go and help. Like, um, I want to, I organize some mattresses, I'm organizing some food items, some chalewotes, because a lot of them don't have chalewotes, like, wow. you know, and that is the only thing you can wear, you know. Um, a lot of them need, like, stuff, you know. I wanted to go and paint there, because the place is looks disgusting you know so i'm organizing paints and all these things to go and support them and tell them that the love that they showed me you know is still in my heart and i have love for them oh so. you made Bless friends you. you made friends yeah i made friends yeah yeah so um so you had different stories yeah, 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 yeah. What was what the, the shocking, the, the most shocking, shocking story oh, somebody, you know? somebody's talking i know <laughs> a 70 year old man who had a girlfriend, a 17-year-old girlfriend. That's shocking on the song. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and I was even asking him, how do you... You are 17. <laughs> 17 yeah. Yeah. And he said, oh, he is a herbalist, so he uh -huh. knows the herbs that <laughs> yeah. he can use. So to, he's a strong man, yeah. basically. <laughs> and this man said, the girl normally comes there in the daytime. But that very day was night, and he thought... There was a thief. Oh, I'll stop his story. So oh. he stabbed. He oh. stabbed the girl. I think it was in the newspapers. He stabbed the girl, and the girl started shouting, and he realized Realize it was, was her. Yeah. Oh wow. And this man was there. He was brought there. And Has he been sentenced? He's not been sentenced. So he's on remand. Seventy years. Yeah, seventy years. Dating at seventeen year old. But even even oh, if he gets no sentenced, you know. Anyway. Uh, so for 17, she's under age. Oh. Mm, 16 is the age of consent. 16 is the age uh. of consent. Yeah. So, Nanaba, I'm doing this donation. I, um, from Kumasi Central Prison, I also um, head to um, the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital to the children's ward and share some love with them as well. Because you admitted there for, for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah for a week. Right. Yeah. What was that? What, what, what exactly was wrong with you? Was uh, it a shock? Was it a foot? What exactly was wrong with you? You know, I think I lost appetite for a while. So ah. um, I, I had some stomach issues, ah. you know, something that was leading, was going to lead to um, ulcer, something like that. Mm. So I had to be admitted. I had endoscopy and all that, mm. you know, and I slept there for a week. And um, after my bail, I went to South Africa for checkups and stuff like that. So, you know. It was sickness. People, people thought I was joking. When I was in the hospital, I got malaria as well. Mm. You know, so... Um, now I think it was the shock. I, I met with a different environment. You know, At what point did you take off hair. the hair? 
I'm a took up the hair um, on my second appearance in court. Why? You know? Because um, I realized everybody who comes to jail gets shaved, you know. But they I were was, not shaving. I was not. Sh- they were not shaving me, and I felt, you know, Out some way because yeah. I wanted to, to be, be part of part of them. I wanted oh. to feel like I'm not bigger than anyone. You know, anyone, you know. So. Um, I told them to shave me. Mm. There was a joke, you know, at the time you were in. You, several jokes came up. The one that actually uh, fascinated me was that uh, when Kwakese comes out of uh, prison, he would not even eat smoked fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, well, I heard something like I had to walk from Kumasi when I was built because the smoke from the car might cause a problem. <laughs> Anyway, but what what do you make of all the things? I'm sure you heard the free crowd kissing. Yeah. I remember we were on New Day together. Yeah. We saw the free crowd kissing movement, and I said we that were against it was, I was against yeah. the whole movement that let the law take its take course. its course against crowd kissing. I mean, we, we we don't want to annoy anybody. And I think it did a little bit. It, so it, that that was that was um, the, yeah. the, the thing is movement. nobody is above, above the, the law. law. Exactly. That's the thing. But um, this is a free country. It's a democratic yeah. country, and people have. Uh, to yeah, to whatever. express yeah, that. So, yeah. These people. But were you in favor of the free Kwakese movement? Uh, to me, I think they you were in favor of being freed. Of yeah, yeah, they <laughs> thought no, something move. big has been taken out of, uh, them, of them, and yeah. the only way they can express their feeling is to, is to come let out the with people that know that they hey, free our man. But again, you were also going to allow justice to take its course, sure. right? Sure. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, now, considering that, you know, you, when it comes to the amount of following that you have, your fans mm. and all the rest, they've seen somebody that they hold in high esteem go through this particular situation. Now, at the end of the day, you did something that got you arrested. Um, what would you advise the people out there who are contemplating or even, you know, thinking about going in the same route that you did? Um, you know, um, drug has had a lot of negative uh, impact on society uh, and um, um, I have a, um, this thing called Kwakese Kick Drug Campaign oh, that's nice. and um, I'm doing this to help eradicate drug use and drug abuse in our society so um, the youth who look up to me you know, I want to urge them that they should stay away from drugs they can be whoever they want to be without the influence of drugs and you know, I think that that, that is my that is what I'm, 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 I'm working on. I'm embarking But congratulations on. to you. I mean, it takes a real man to say that this has been a very humbling experience for me. So I want to go back to the same place that <laughs> I was and had very terrible... He made, he made friends. He made and friends. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure they, they miss you and they'll be happy to see you. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Saturday. sure, sure, sure. Um, I made friends with the officers... The inmates. Did you entertain them? Yeah, on the nineteenth of December there was a con- mini concert. Yeah, like um, a singing competition and a dance ah, competition. I am sure you I, I was the judge. <laughs> so after the judgment, I had to give them something to spice the whole show up. Oh, and how yeah. was it? It was massive. Like people outside felt the heat, and they were all like, "What is?" They happening? want to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to prison. <laughs> want to go to prison. <laughs> Free show, right? So you did have a, a bit of fun. It wasn't you all. Had fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were moments yeah, where yeah, yeah. You, you had fun. Yeah, you know, like when I wake up in the morning, Abodam here and there, everybody see you, and Abodam from yeah. Sabo and you know that kept me alive. Oh, yeah. You know, I felt like yo, the love is everywhere, and I yeah. felt the love outside the prison. Ghanaians showed a lot of love. Your your colleagues. Yeah, yeah, it was it was massive. You know, a lot of them came there. Yeah, I saw Sakwa there. Sakwa was there. Shatawale was there. Obrafo, Samini, VVIP, VVIP, Bojengi, Oruro. You know, Eden, Guru, it, it, it's a lot. And even um, Nanam Pedu yeah. even came there. Were you shocked? I was surprised. He came to me when I was sick in the hospital. He came there. And I was like, what? Yeah. You know, this thing has really gotten yeah. up, you know. I'll tell you another thing that was funny. When Kwakasi came out, there's a, a spoof account on Twitter uh, of President Mahama. 
and it said uh kwa kasi welcome yeah, to said yeah, thank yeah, you I, 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 did, did you know that was super funny i remember that did you you actually thought it was the person you know the pressure the pressure i was then getting back getting back uh, getting used back to society so you know the president was welcoming was welcoming there was also another statement that uh, i don't know if you said it but it was the one that said um it's only when you come out of prison that girls still ask you what did you bring me did you ever say that No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So it's been attributed to you then. So you never said uh, that anyway. I remember the the other one, the massa I beg when Massa somebody... I beg. <laughs> <laughs> that you did to me. Yeah. Massa I beg. Okay, Massa. Those are three. Uh, yeah. yeah. The guy said um one wow. 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 for the black <laughs> bag. So now. Massa I beg. So it's happening on the 14th, <laughs> on the 14th of, of February. Of February. The, the, the this Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. yeah. And so you're expecting uh, everybody to donate to what always just Yeah. No, expecting everybody to donate. You know, um I have a number you can call if you you want to you know support okay. what is that number it's 050 um 7 8 um 707 4484 050 I was just about to we don't need to get it from your manager 050 707 4484 okay you can call that number and help us put smiles anything at i mean chalwote one more time the number please 050 7074484 and um I want to say a big thank you to Tigo mm. you know who who are holding they are holding my legs you know to make this thing happen you know big thank you to, and my time entertainment thanks to TV3 for you know putting me on today you know let's make it happen yeah okay yeah, yeah. it will happen, it will happen. You've, happen. Done well. you've done well you've done well let's before i forget You people are donating, right? We will. Oh, yes, we will. Yes, Why definitely. do you think we invited That's you? That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We will definitely we will. donate. But thank you so much uh, for passing It's through. I, I mean, I, I, if I thought I never loved you, I love you more now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Isn't that And sweet? you watch out for my new song, Yakubu. You know, the hey. name I got from prison, Yakubu. Why? Why? Why were you called Yakubu? And my school, my school, prison father, Awudu, mm-hmm. gave me that name, Yakubu. Ah, okay. Yakubu. So, Yakubu is a song featuring some Akodi and we're yes, working on the Sakodia. video and it's coming out soon. Just so I'm out. guessing your experiences will inspire a lot of woo, woo, woo. Your, your music will have a, a new twist will have a lot of sure, inspiration sure, sure, from your experiences sure 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 and you know the madness will, has gone to a different, different level. level positive positive madness, madness. Positive. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to grow the dread again um let's see what happens i think you look cute this way i really? didn't so recognize him when yeah, he walked in this morning it's wow. a lot of you know but it's taking something some away devilish. from him really yeah, yeah. 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 that madness gone yeah. <laughs> positive about them. Positive about them. We will <laughs> vote. Let the let the fans vote. vote. If they want this, they should let me know. If they yeah, want the dress, but we will have the final say. Somewhere <laughs> <or not>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank anyway. you so much. Okay, so if you want to donate and you actually didn't get, get that number. number, you can still come to TV3 and leave whatever it is. If it's money, chalwote, matches, food, matches, matches, anything, matches at anything at all, anything, anything yeah. at all, and we'll be too happy to pass it on to Kwaku. So congratulations once again. We Thank are very, very proud of you. Thank you. Very I could actually kiss you. Oh. It's not too late. I mean, we, we have we had a few a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs>